You know what really sucks is a hacked WordPress website. What sucks about it is that you could lose everything and your website usually gets redirected to some site that's foreign that has all this weird stuff on it and customers go to your website, they're like, what is going on here? Uh, so with WordPress, because it's open source, it, it is a vulnerable platform and there's several steps that need to be done to protect it. So I'm gonna cover just the common steps you should take and then it's kind of some more advanced stuff later on in the video. So common stuff that you need to do for WordPress is you need to make sure that your hosting or the server that has your website on top of it has backups. Backups are crucial because the only way that you're gonna get your website back, you know, back to, to where it was before is with a backup. Otherwise you can kind of fix things by disabling some plugins or doing some stuff, kind of figure out where it's at, but that's a lot more work. Rolling it back is a lot easier. So number one is backups. Number two is some type of security in place. Here at Skypoint Studios, my agency, we use Immunify 360 by Cloud Linux. That product is absolutely incredible. Uh, we run a cPanel, a, a Linux cPanel hosting environment on our virtual private server. We have Immunify 360 installed. So if you're looking at a certain product and you're wondering what security to have, that is an incredible product. It scans, it has a firewall, it will automatically clean up any type of malware infections. But the point of this video, so you need to have those two things. The point of this video is I want to talk about what you can do if some vulnerability still gets through all your protections and still happens to happen to, to attack a website. And that happened to us recently. This doesn't happen very often, but a website got completely switched over to this foreign website. I think it was in Japan or something like that. And I was like, whoa, what the heck? When I went to go check out the website. So what we did was, first of all, we rolled the website back. And then we went in and we deleted all the users because there was some type of weird user in account. I think that might be how they got in. But you basically want to go make sure that you delete all the users except for your user account if you can. You know, clear out any admin accounts. Check any plugins that look kind of fishy. Check any themes that are there. Like if you have extra themes, you should only have two themes installed. The active theme and a backup theme, which is the WordPress year. So like 2024, when, when 2025 rolls over, you'll want 2025 and delete 2024. So you only want two themes at any given time. So these are all security things you can do. But this is the thing that we actually did to secure that specific website. So they, we, fit, we found out where the attack vector was, which was on the index.php page. So that, that's a basically a file that serves up the majority of the website. That had been changed over, and that's how they managed to run this other website on top of our website. So what we did was we, we rolled the website back, of course, to get back to where it was before. And then I asked my server admins to lock the ph that index.php file so it's locked so they can it cannot be changed anymore so that prevents anything happening this same type of attack of happening again now when i when we go to update the core of wordpress or certain plugins we're gonna have to unlock that file and then uh, do the updates and then relock it again this is a little bit of a pain in the butt but because that website had that vulnerability which was so crazy pretty rare that we, I wanted to lock that. And that's something you can ask your server admins if they're willing to do something like that and lock the file. Um, so that's that's basically, that. this whole video will cover all the different steps that you need to do to troubleshoot and to fix it. Now, if you're in a situation where your website's hacked and you don't have backups in place where you can roll it back or the backups that you're rolling it back, it's still hacked, you're gonna need to go through and maybe disable all your plugins, see if that restores it, maybe switch themes, see if that restores it. And then, you know, worst case scenario, you have to go through and manually scan the website for malware and go check every single file. I've had to do that before, and it's it's quite tedious and time consuming. You have to go through every single file of the website on the in the file manager and look for unusual parts that are that are there. So usually like what malware does is it creates new file areas. So things that are like you know, kind of, they look like they should be there, but they really shouldn't be there. So you need to compare. And sometimes you might open up another website and see what files are there and kind of compare them between the hacked website, a website you know is not hacked and a website that is hacked and compare those files side by side and you'll start to notice files that stand out. Those are usually the ones that are hacked. But you know, what you can do is you can download a copy of the file before you delete it, delete the file, check your website to make sure that it's, you know, doesn't break it. It's a very tedious process to kind of figure that out. If you want an expert to help you, you know, do, do any of these things I mentioned, I definitely would love to help you out with that. I've fixed, you know, literally hundreds of hacked WordPress websites. It doesn't happen very often because we have so many things in place to protect it, but every once in a while something gets through. I think it was because those extra user accounts that we had in that one website, but that was the solution that we had was to lock the index.php file. And it may be a different file that you have hacked. It may not be the index. It could be like the page. 
PHP, it could be the header.php. One of your other files might be hacked. You got to track down which one's hacked and you could lock that as an option. You could lock that file so it can't get, you know, that vulnerability can't happen again. So anyways, this is a, a long video all about WordPress and the hacks. And if you need help, definitely reach out. My name is Joe Fiel with Skypoint Studios. I would love to be your web developer. I'd love to help you out with your hacked WordPress. Thanks so much for watching my videos as always. I'm going to catch you on the next one.